Bane. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking awesome. Okay, everyone. Now your next comic is very funny. He's one of the newer guys, but he's hilarious. Montgomery Wayne. That's no pot. Where are my potheads at? <laughs> hey, uh, remember when all I took to make you happy with a piece of paper and some crayon? Come on, get away, y'all. Uh, got any native born Texans here tonight? Yeah. One? Alright. I'm a seventh generation Texan, y'all. Proud parent to eighth generation Texan. It's true. I did marry down. I married a fifth generation Texan. God bless you. But all will be well when we have our litter of ninth generation. And I don't have any along with them. I'm tripolar. I look country, big punk rock, punk rock, living in a hip hop world. <laughs> How many of y'all seen that movie Idiocracy? Yeah. A movie set 500 years in the future, talking about how stupid our civilization is going to become. I don't think that movie's accurate at all. I'm thinking more like 30 or 40 years. I mean, uh, friends with benefits? When I was younger, a friend with benefits was some guy who came over and worked on your car. Or had a fake ID to get you some beer. Or maybe help you wahoo some beer. Not some girl that had sex with you and no strings attached. Those are sluts. But don't get me wrong, I love sluts. I Google sluts on my smartphone. There's some famous sluts out there. Pamela Anderson? I love me some Pamela Anderson. Parasol? A little skin. You know there's a slut out there you wouldn't think about? Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan was famous for giving blowjobs in her youth. Allegedly. I guess she didn't know I could just say no. You know where the sluttiest women are in the world? New Zealand. New Zealand women have sex with three times as many partners as the rest of women's world's average. You hear quotes from New Zealand men saying things like they feel pressured and used. Got my ticket for New Zealand coming next week. <laughs> hey, we got any New Zealand girls here tonight? Got any sluts? Smilts? Slutty moms I'd like to fix up with my slutty friend who told me about that? Hey, I'd like to apologize if I offended any of y'all. Sluts have people see you know. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not calling my mom a slut. Though my dad used to. I'm just kidding. He didn't call her a slut. He called her a whore. You know what happens when you call your wife a slut and a whore? You get a divorce. And for the record, I never called my mom a slut. I just tell people she's from New Zealand. <laughs> and if I ever see some New Zealand girls, I just got two words to say to them. Prove it. <laughs> you know, in New Zealand, they sound like marriage material, man. Uh, down there, they have uh, slogans for weed, live like it's legal. And they even try to have a cannabis vending machine. And I know all about commitment. I got a wife and a girlfriend. You think it's tough being committed to one woman, you try being committed to two. Y'all, after hearing all these comments and their material, and the things I've just said, I'm feeling a little guilty. I'd like to repent. Could y'all please bow your heads and join me in a prayer? Our Father, and uh, really any spiritual title you choose, but being in America, I'm going with Our Heavenly Father for 600 hours. Our Heavenly Father, please forgive us for our sins and for about the next 30 to 45 seconds of comedy. Please give us each day our daily amount of high-grade medicinal marijuana. Please help us forgive those who bogart against us as we hope to be forgiven for bogarting ourselves. And please help our loved ones have their first wealth. And remember that the first wealth is hell. May all your smoke be blessed in Jesus' name. And really any spirit title you choose. Amen. And, uh, you know, holding this microphone and being on my knees, it, it made me think that uh, I'm ready to make an announcement, y'all. This is really hard. I've decided to come out. Thanks, y'all. Mom, Dad, I'm a humor sexual. Don't blame me. My genes are geared for laughter. What can I say? I'm genetically predisposed for comedy. Hey, remember when being called a big burly bear of a man was a compliment to a heterosexual male? Hey, we're going away. Thank you, Cam. Er. Hey, Cam.